Thank you for this. Uh, this fire season is going to be bad. Remember to check on your friends and family. Make a plan, and if you're able to donate any money, the links are below. I hope you enjoy this video. But there's something holding on in the way of being long gone. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another quick and easy video. It's fire season and I want to make a video about what you can do to protect your photos, documents, videos, whatever's important in a natural disaster. So you can focus on getting out, getting safe, and you don't have to worry about your photos or documents. This is a quick and easy way. Probably the budget will be around 300 bucks at the end, but there are very cheap options that you can do. You can scale up, you can scale down, whatever you like. So what I've got is to back up all my important photos and documents, I have the WD Cloud 2 terabyte NAS. And ideally what I would like to do is connect it to um, a friend or family member's house that's far away from me. So in case there is a bushfire in my area, which is not unlikely, unfortunately, but if there is a natural disaster that's far away from my house, and then I can retrieve it later. And the good thing about WD is there's apps and programs you can download for all of your devices that will sync all of your photos from your phones, your laptops, your tablets and we'll send them to that device and back them up in real time as long as you have Wi-Fi. I'm sure there is an option to back it up even if you don't have Wi-Fi through 4 or 5G, wherever you are. That's a quick and easy way you can forget about um, your photos and videos then you know that they're safe far away. And then if you do have to recover them, just pop over to your friend's place or even download them remotely to your computer and then you have them back again. That's uh, probably the medium, like in the middle option. Um, obviously you can get different storage options for someone that wants to do a little bit more on budget. I use Google Photos and Google Photos is really good. You get unlimited storage, you can buy some storage for um, more high-end photos and if you want like, the fullest of quality photos, and it's really cheap, it's like, I'm not even sure, it's not much, it's about 10 bucks a month, if that even. Or well, it might even be free because I'm pretty sure I've downloaded 26 megabyte, um, 26 megapixel photos from my Google Photos account. And again, if you install this on your phones, on your tablets, every time you take a photo, it will back it up to Google Photos. And then you'll be able to have a range of photos, all of your photos back. Up. And Google Photos is quite good the way they organize them and the way they put them in folders. You can even do face detection, so if you're looking for a particular family member, and they even do pets as well. So you can search for different faces. And it's really easy to get your photos back. I hope that very quick video that helps you and I hope that you are safe and you are well and if you are in an emergency 
Remember, I follow the videos can be replaced, but just get out, be safe, and make sure you check out your channel. If you like what I do and you do a like, remember to subscribe to this video. Leave a comment below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.